I discover uh, architectures when I've seen a, a drawing of Le Corbusier for Chandigarh in a book when I was 15 years old or, and I uh, became immediately interested. I was painting and making sculpture. I discovered that we could do a, draw, a, a drawing in which uh, after, all, after a while uh, you could walk in this drawing, you know, it could become a, a landscape. So I was fascinated by this. I use what in the modern tradition said when you make a shape, a form, it's dangerous. It has to be functional, orthogonal. I would say that when, when I use a, a sort of shaping body or light, it's always because I am sure it had a quality for the comfort, for the space, for the use. A, a better light, a better feeling of uh, intimacy here, a better feeling to be attracted uh, uh, to go in this direction, there. It has a quality of the, the relation, relation of space with a, an existing building site, you know. It's, it's not only uh, uh, an aesthetical achievement in itself, it has to be good. And I, I go back in the building when they are, I continue to design and to, to paint or to make watercolor. It was always in really relationship. Watercolor permits to have uh, an ID which you can see one hour or, or 10 minutes after. And with building, you have to wait six years or sometimes 15 years, you know, some of the project. I, so I have, we have to be so patient so, so that the, 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 the drawing is a pleasure. It's very important. And sometimes uh, uh, it's also an, uh, an ex, a, a journey out of architecture also. It's not only connected with architecture, but it's certainly important. I think we influence each other because we have uh, we are very complementary and we have uh, <coughs> different experiences. Elizabeth came from uh, art and sociology and she arrived slowly at uh, architecture and design and architecture and uh, we do uh, separately our project but we have a, a strong uh, sharing of experiences and uh, and feeling.